PMPA Spinal Cut of the Week, where we share important information you may have missed while you were making essential parts. I'm Doreen Davis. And I'm Veronica Darden. And this is what you need to know for the week ending June 9th, 2023. The United States requires private employers with 100 or more employees and federal contractors with 50 or more employees and a contract of $50,000 or more with the federal government to file an Equal Employment Opportunity One also known as an EEO-1 report. The report is typically due on March 31st, but the schedule has been off since 2018. The portal is anticipated to open mid-July, but no deadline filing date has been announced. It is never too early to start gathering your employees' demographics. A voluntary poll of your employees can make filing this report much easier. Get ahead of the game and be prepared for this looming deadline. In May, Non-farm payroll employment rose by 339,000, but unemployment increased to 3.7%, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Manufacturing jobs declined while job openings and hires remained steady. The numbers suggest that employment figures are influenced by population demographics, not just the economy. Despite this, the payroll numbers have consistently exceeded economists' estimates for 14 months. The manufacturing sector saw a decrease in job openings, reflecting the challenges faced in the job market. Apple has introduced their new Vision Pro Mixed Reality Headset, priced at $3,500. It is a future-packed device in the augmented reality world. Our take? As augmented reality technology gets cheaper and more future-packed, it will be a great training aid in our shops. The ability to direct an individual from anywhere in the world Giving them 100% relevant data with real-time feedback will be a game changer. The ISM PMI continues to slide in May. The Institute for Supply Management's Purchasing Managers Index fell from 47.1 in April to 46.9 for May. This was the seventh straight month of decline. The report highlighted stabilizing exports in falling raw materials prices in contrast to the contracting new orders. That drove the report's index downward for the month. While PMPA's business trends index has shown volatility, we are still showing high levels of sales. Year to date, our index remains elevated and is just one point below the 2021 calendar year average. Emerging technologies like ChatGBT disrupt markets. Many other new technologies have done the same thing and they forced us to analyze our position. Where do we go next? What move should we make? It is imperative to be a lifelong learner. Try to learn something new every day. Continuously study and grow your capabilities. Make learning an active part of your own personal strategic plan. On this week's Speaking of Precision podcast, Miles Free, Carly Kessler Miller, and David Wynn dive into the great debate on additive versus subtractive manufacturing for our precision machining shops. This podcast and our Speaking of Suppliers podcast can be found on major podcast platforms or on pmpa.org. Now it's time for our weekly tip. Does your daily activities have anything to do with your effectiveness? The answer may surprise you. To learn more about the battle for performance, efficiency versus effectiveness, and how it can affect your shop, go to pmpa.org, Knowledge Centers, or Final Cut of the Week. And that's our take on what you need to know for the week ending June 9, 2023. For additional information and links about any of the topics discussed today, go to pmpa.org and click on the final cut of the week. Thanks for checking in, and we'll see you next Friday. <laughs> Let me know whenever you're ready. Very googly moogly, okay. Oh man, okay. Get it together, man. To file an equal opportunity. Who <laughs> 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 trying to get the giggle sound? <laughs> In May, non. <laughs> you weren't ready yet, but you tried it. <laughs>